everybody, hope you're all having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to take you on a little photo walk through Singapore. But instead of seeing the crazy rich side of Singapore, I'm going to show you my neighborhood that I've been living in for the past year. I think it's a pretty cool part of town. Let's get into it. Woo! So first things first, just show you my apartment that I've been living in for the past year. There she is. The one, two, three. This neighborhood is called Tiong Baru, kind of like the suburbs of Singapore. There's a park across the street, I'm gonna head over there. So this area here is called Kim Pong Park, literally right across the street from where I live. Pretty cool little place for locals to gather. Uh, a lot of dogs come out here and play. And, uh, oh, hello. So these things are new. So apparently this is presented by the Tongjong Pagar Tiong Baru Community Arts and Culture Club. There's a bunch of hearts around my neighborhood, so that obviously makes me pretty happy. I'm a fan. This is where I live. Oh, I I don't know what this is. Hold on, hold on one second, guys. You guys, you need to see this. We got this fun heart lion guy over here, super colorful. Oh yeah, maybe these are lion heads. They look like hearts. Yeah, might be a little bit of both. The obviously very well-known merlion is the national animal of Singapore. You know, kind of like how a mermaid is a human with a fish, but merlion is a lion with a fish. Ah, oh, Pokemon, look at that. Look at these guys. I mean, Pikachu's really cute. I don't know if he's got like abs or something. Does Squirtle have abs? He's been working out, that's fair, I get it. And then, who's that Pokemon? You let me know in the comments below which Pokemon you think that one is. <laughs> Let's keep going. So one of the cool things about showing you guys around my neighborhood is that I get to find the cool stuff that I had not paid attention to before. This big guy right here is a mango tree. He's also a heritage tree, and I think that that means that it can't be cut down, which is pretty cool. This thing just showed up. This is Molly, the mobile library. Apparently that's a thing here in Singapore. That's pretty cool. I wish it would play music, kind of like the ice cream truck. That would be kind of fun. What music would your mobile library play? The only thing that I can think of is turn down for what? And that makes me happy. Hello. Hey. Hello. So unfortunately for me, the phone call that I just received was work telling me that I need to come in today, so that's gonna cut my time short here. Let's stop talking and take photos. <laughs> so this right here is a normal looking vending machine that they are mystery books. They're all wrapped. They're about 10 bucks each. If I had any cash with me right now, I would totally buy a mystery book. This is such a cool idea. This is a local bookstore. Right? They do their own publishing, and they specifically publish local authors. It's called Books Actually. It's a pretty cute little shop, so definitely check it out. Mm. This is one of my favorite spots here in Singapore. They've got excellent food, good coffee. It's a cute little cafe. So that's where I've been living for the past year. This is some of the not so crazy rich side of Singapore, but it's still pretty cool. I love living here. I've only got one month left in Singapore, so I'm just trying to appreciate what I've had here for the past two years and get ready for the next adventure, which I do not know what it's gonna be, but I'll definitely keep you guys posted. So if you like this video, go ahead and slap that like button in the face, bang that bell so you never miss a video, and I'll see you guys next week. Oh wait, before you go, I forgot to mention something in the video. If you are working on anything creative, whether that be with photography, writing, drawing, singing, dancing, acting, whatever it is that you're passionate about, go ahead and tag me and use the hashtag ArtsyTimeWithDanjo. At the end of this month, I'm going to feature a couple of my favorite creative projects on a video on my channel. So make sure you use the hashtag ArtsyTimeWithDanjo so that I can encourage you on your journey. Hope you guys have an awesome day. This time's for real. Bye!